in this question, we are given function gx in terms of fx, and we have to sketch the graph of gx. Based on the expression that we have for gx, we have to do two transformations to the graph of fx to get gx. We can see in the expression that fx is multiplied by one half. This multiplication represents a vertical stretch by a factor of one half. Such a vertical stretch means that each y coordinate on the graph is multiplied by one half, so the resulting transformed graph looks like this. As you can see, the y coordinate of each point has been halved. The other transformation is shown by this plus one, and it represents a vertical translation by one unit up. Therefore, the blue graph that we have drawn will move up by one unit, so the final answer to this question looks like this. An important note here is that in your final answer, you should only draw the graph that I have drawn in green here. I just drew the blue dashed graph to help explain the transformations. Let's see what you can do on this question to make sure that you get full marks. The first tip is for you to make sure that on sketching questions, you pay attention to the given domain. Here, the domain of gx is given from negative 4 to positive 6, so be sure that you sketch the graph exactly on this domain. The second tip is for you to make sure that on such questions your graph passes through some key points. Examples of such points are y and x-intercepts, and turning points so maxima or minima.